Hello everyone. Now we will start with our new topic as a part of a BAP programming. Our new topic is conditional statements. Now, word is what is conditional statement? Word itself is suggesting it will allow us to execute a code, execute the statements based upon some condition. Suppose we'll go for simple example. I have a program and in that program, suppose there is 50 lines of code. I want to execute that code based upon some condition. If that condition is true, then that code should execute else it should not execute. So in that case, conditional statements will help us to achieve this kind of requirement. So what is conditional statement? It allows us to execute a block of code. Block of code means we have some set of code. We have some statements of code. If a certain condition is met, it means it, if, it is, if the certain condition is true. Now, we will discuss about two conditional statements. One is if and another is case. We will start with if, then we will discuss case. And at the last, we will compare both the conditional statements that in which scenario you have to go for which particular conditional statements. Now we will start with our first conditional statement that is if. Yes, if is a conditional statement, we will understand. We have three versions of a conditional statement. If I will just zoom this, we have three, three versions of, uh, we have three versions of if statement. Suppose what is the first option or version of if statement? You will write a if condition. If this if condition is true, whatever the statements or whatever the code is there, it will execute. And every if statement ends with an if. This is the easiest, easiest option of if statement. You are writing a single if statement. If that statement is true, that particular statements of code will execute the done. Now, what is the second option? You have a if condition. If this if condition is true, the statements of code will execute. If statements, if this if condition is not true, system will go to else part and it will execute this statements of code. So this is second option of if condition. This is second version of if condition. We have a single if and we have a else part. If it if if is true, the statements will execute. Else, the statements which are in else part, it will execute. Now we have a third option. In the third option, you can pass the multiple if conditions. If you want to pass multiple if conditions, you have to use else if. Suppose. We have a first if condition. If this is true, this statements of block will execute. Now we have second if condition also. And how we can give multiple if conditions through else if. If this condition is true, this statements of block will execute. If none of the condition is true, system will go to which part else part. So we have three options of if condition, single if condition, if with else, multiple if conditions with else. Now depends upon the requirement. Yes, we need to go for the respective version of if condition. Now I will read the theory, then we will go for practical part. In case of if we have multiple statements blocks are there. If I talk about option three, we have multiple statements block and depends upon the condition, one block will execute. Remember, 
whenever we are going for conditional statements yes at a time only one one condition will be true yes sir now we provide multiple conditions using else if if you want to provide multiple conditions in case of if you have to use else if if none of the condition is true system will go to which part else part if none of the if and else if condition is true the system will go to else part so if statement is a conditional statement how you can provide multiple if conditions through else if if none of the condition is true system will go to else part now what we will do we will go for the system we will go for the practical of all these three options of if statement and depends upon the requirement yes you will widely widely use the conditional statement now we all know if we want to create a program we have to go to sc38 transaction code so i'll go to sc38 transaction code every customized object should start with z or y so i am giving the name starting with z i am saying z p r g conditional statement suppose we are discussing if so i gave some name to the program i will click on to create button. i will give some title to the program to understand a conditional statement if now i will choose that type as executable program because we will check the result we will execute the program so i'll take the type as executable i will save i will save it as a local object now we discuss so many times whenever you are going for any executable program report is the first keyword or you can say we have first word in that particular program i will activate the program now we will go for our first first option of if statement in which we will only only write the if condition so what i will do i will declare a variable we all know how to declare a variable through data tab you all know if you want the keyword on the editor you have to use tab i am writing lv underscore input we discussed so many times a good programmer always follow the best naming convention type is the keyword suppose i am giving the type as n and every statement ends with a dot or p i will give the length suppose length is 2 so i declare a data object of which type numeric type and data object under the data object we have named data object and it is a variable it is a variable i will save i'll check the syntax and i will activate now we will discuss the first first i'll say option of if i will write if and if is a keyword whenever you will put if just see put tab you can see if and and if automatically came yes so every statement every if statements ends with a and if and you can see we have this kind of notification this kind of symbol also it means if starts here it ends here so if someone ask you every if ends with what the answer is end if now we are writing if lv underscore input is equal to suppose i am checking if the input 
is one, we will print the result. So how you can print the result through write. So what is the keyword, but how you can print a result or print a data in case of a bat through write keyword. So I am writing right tab. So I am just displaying the result. The output is one. Suppose I am writing the output is comma. I will write LV underscore input. Now just recall we are combining the multiple statements. We are combining the multiple statements. So compulsory, I have to use colon because colon is the chain operator. And this is what this is your character literal character literal. This is we already covered. Yes. So this is unnamed data object and it is a character literal and we gave in the single quotes. I will save, I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Now we will assign the value default value to this variable. Suppose I'm saying value is one. As of now, we are going for default value in the upcoming videos. Whenever this all will over, we will take the input from the user. As of now, we are starting with default values. If you want to give default value in the previous video we covered, you can use the keyword value or you can go by other way also. It's your wish how you want to go. LV underscore input is one. You can go by this way also. It's your wish. So this is your numeric literal. This is your character literal. Both are unnamed data object. I will say, I'll check the syntax and we will activate. Now, the most important reason now, I will apply the pretty printer and just see. This is if, this is and if. I wrote a right keyword here. Just see the position of right. Now, whenever I will apply pretty printer, just check utilities, settings, pretty printer. Is indent is tick? Yes, indent is ticked. By default, we have keyword in uppercase. You can go for check, 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 tick that also. But is indent is ticked? Yes, indent is ticked. Now, whenever I will apply pretty printer, just see. Is this properly indented? Previously, right starts from here. Now, right position changed because this, this statement, this code is the part of this if condition. So just see how pretty printer is doing the proper indentation so that the readability of the code increases. Now, I will apply the pretty printer. I'll check the syntax and activate. Now we will write a proper comment also. If I want to write a comment at the start of the line, I can put star checking of if condition. At least for the first few videos, we will follow this approach so that you will all will become familiar with all these keywords, how to use. I will activate. Now our input is one, our input is one. It will check this if condition will check. Is input is one? Yes, input is one. It means this particular code will execute. This particular statements of code will execute. If I will run the program, you all know how to execute the program through F8 key. So I will do F8 and you can see the output is one. You can see the result. This will print as it is. And what is your LV underscore input? LV underscore input. Yes, it is. Now, many people ask me, we gave one. Why zero one is coming? Because it is of numeric type. So it will take the zeros automatically before that. Now, 
this is the simple if condition suppose i will change the value to we are changing the value of the input variable now your input is 2 is 2 is equal to 1 no 2 is not equal to 1 so this if condition is false so no output will come if i will execute you can see there is no output so this is the first simplest if condition now we will go for second option of if condition if the condition is true the statements of block but is inside if it will execute else whatever you are writing in else part that will execute now we will see the second option we have a if condition now we will go for else part suppose i am writing else else is a keyword now dot now we will simply simply write write and i suppose i am writing wrong input we are going for one more character literal wrong input okay so we are simply simply printing a character literal which is wrong input if input is 2 if input is 2 as of now our input is 2 is 2 is equal to 1 no so this if condition this if condition is false so system will go to which part else part so this statements of code will execute so this is the second option of if condition you have a single if condition if that is true this particular statements of block will execute else whatever you are writing in the else part it will execute i'll check the syntax please please never forget to apply the pretty printer now you can see proper indentation happen because this is the part of your else this statement of code is the part of else i will execute i'll activate now i will execute so our if is false so system will print the else part i'll go to execute now you can see this is the result suppose if i am changing the value if i am going for one so this if condition is true one is equal to one yes one is equal to one so this will execute system will not go to else part now if i will execute now you can see whatever you are giving in the if condition it is executing so what is the summary of the topic we started with conditional statements with the help of conditional statements you can execute the block of code depends upon the certain condition if the condition is true the certain statements of code will execute we I will discuss two conditional statement if and case and we started with if in case of if we have three option we have single if statement we have say we have a if and else we have multiple if conditions with else in case of if you if you want to give multiple if condition how you can give through else if if you are none of the condition is true system will go to else part and we did the practical of two options single if condition single if condition with else now in the next video we will go for multiple if conditions with else part so that's it in this video thank you